Um, the prodigies. Funny thing about prodigy, uh, I've seen them play in, the, in some in some stages, mm. like national stages, national tournaments, and they actually are really good. They might actually surprise us with UI as well. Okay, so well, I get, well, like you said earlier, UI has a new team, mm-hmm. so you know who, who who knows what's bound to happen. Maybe this will be like you know battling with heads with each other, or maybe this will be a one sided game. Exactly. If 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 the UI, oh my god, Ben's going quick already. We already have Morgana Ben, Malphite Ben, ben actually, Jarvan, yeah. and Galio Ben. That's kind of funny. Uh, th- this Malphite ban is actually kind of funny. I'm not sure if this is a, a target ban or anything, uh, I'm not sure but regardless, uh, rank classic PH, I guess, you know, uh, people tend to stick uh, without communication because I think that's honestly one of the weakest things that we have about the, uh, the Philippines teams in general. Mm-hmm. There's very little communication with teams. Exactly. And uh, one thing I want to point out as well is like the Malphite right now has a target of the Assassin Malphite that's been yeah. tearing up so low. Because he got, he got a um, rework, right? Yeah. And also, yeah, there's a rework. Uh, well, his uh, small update, I guess. There's a sm- small update, but you could see him play dominate solo queue with the AP Malphite though. Oh, uh, so like, it's actually cannon. Yeah, it's like uh, glass cannon, but okay. it like break breaks apart. Like if you take down one person with that Malphite element, it's just technically. Yeah, yeah and even it's like it's, what, it's like a sixty second cooldown, exactly. so it's not even like it, it. It's almost like a Dota thing. You can you you're allowed to use that. Exactly. But if they if they like you know rotate around into it, it'll always be a little problematic for the uh, Malphite team. But Drafts are going they're, really they're, Yeah, they're going in. So we, last band's becoming Blitzcrank and Kha'Zix. Right. Uh, that, that, that's, that's fine. I, I can see that. Um, they really just like... They're, it's basically like almost support or rather Orient. support like oriented on skirmish UI, or right? getting picked um, exactly. bands compared to uh, Prodigy Gavings where it's like long, long elongated team fights yeah. or rather like follows up after a couple seconds worth of fighting because right, the Galio comes in with the ulti. The Jarvan may come through the back line with uh, Flag and Drag or the Kha'Zix comes into your back line just reaps your carries but we'll go ahead into the first three picks here fiddle six kaisa olaf fiddle six is back yeah fiddle six could, is kind of okay in this whole, in this solo queue standards but uh-huh. i'm not sure in the, in the uh, professional scene because it's really hard to like um make use of the fiddle sticks and uh, engages and start off these fights especially since you're going up against a leona lane yeah since so fiddle six is one of the squishiest champions early game so it's the squishiest it uh squishiness is actually negated with the aftershock when you use mm-hmm. that. Uh, when you fear, when you use spirit, right? which is really really the the, the, yeah. the prime uh, factor of. A, but the problem with that is you're going up against Elysian, so when you do go in with a pro storm, you just get kicked you out. You probably get kicked out. Yeah, yeah the, it's pretty useless to use the ultimate. So we'll see how the dynamics work there. If Elysian doesn't not use his ultimate for uh, earlier fights mm-hmm. for engages and uses it for peeling, that it could be you could negate the fiddle's yeah. threat. For sure, uh, Prodigy Game literally has like a have a lockdown team, either exactly. that or like either lockdown and picking or picking off, right? Yeah, and picking Pick off, off, or we'll probably like you know disengage and try to do uh, different manners of fight because they have a really flexible team right now. The Leona and Lux pick, mm-hmm. super flexible. They can either play defensive, they can play aggressively and poke. And adding on to the Lee Sin is just another factor of disengaging or like you know flash Engaging. kicks in, in second. Yeah, and the, and also I like the pick of the Lee Sin because of the er, recent buffs to this champion. Like mm-hmm. the increased twenty five AD to mm-hmm. his ultimate yeah. is just really good in it's early huge. game pressure. Like in early game team fights, twenty five HP could be the matter of life or death. During mm-hmm. One hit, no kidding. Exactly. So that's gonna be a lot of pressure in the earlier stages of the game. Comp- now, considering you have a roaming support, a Lux as well to lock down these skills and the Lee Sin to just fin- finish it off. But anyways, we're wrapping things off with carry top laners being banned with the Akali and um, Aurelia. Aurelia. So you do see and Renekton. Yeah. yeah so but... and the Renekton. So you do see small kill pressure on the top side of the map, which is why they lock in the Rumble. Yeah. 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 Again, the uh, Rumble. Rumble always comes back. Exactly. What, 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 in in what, some what, shape or form, right? When it's near worlds, Rumble always, always manages to come back. back. Yeah. This, is, this is just a meme at some point. And the last band being for uh, UI being the Ash. That's actually uh, for me. It's surprising. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I guess it's may- maybe the matter of Kaisa, because like it's maybe it's the, almost the same analysis of um, Ash versus Vayne, where as soon as she goes in and tumbles, you throw that arrow, she's probably dead. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's the and same you... principle with Kaisa's ultimate. Yeah, and as well. the thing about Ash is she has that burst potential now compared to before because mm-hmm. they're they both the rework. Now, right? Yeah, the recent rework as well is that your Q now um, is a reset on auto attack, so that's uh, increased burst damage. So that's it doesn't mean much here. in solo queue, but in competitive play, that, that, where that, every that, auto attack... Yeah, that's, that's at least 100 extra damage. Yeah, in, exactly. In when you do land that crystal arrow and you do auto attack resets with your Q, you're one auto attack ahead of the Kai'Sa, so you could burst her down. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's especially crucial for the Kai'Sa. And now we have uh, 
running off again with the last two beds of each team of Aatrox uh, and this Zera. Is what I'm doing. This is what yeah, I'm doing. I like that team. It's it's very and Kai's is now running cleanse as well, obviously for the so many fa uh, chain CCs. Yeah, exactly. The Leona has two two three CCs actually technically kind of the root from her E, and of course the Lux Q is going to be very 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 annoying. I like both uh, drafts to be honest. Like, yeah, both of them are really strong. So I think overall for, for, on on paper. This is probably going to be looking like Prodigy's game, in my opinion, because if they go to the late game, that Jinx is going to pop off. Exactly. And they can basically play around the Jinx. Uh, Rumble's probably going to be either having A, zone ultis, or B, um, cutting them off with his ulti, right? It's just then, peeling for the rain. Exactly. Uh, for the Jinx. Then. Exactly. It's, it's going to be peeling and rotating around it. It's really hard to engage with that. Um, you got the zone control from the Rumble. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Leona ultimate as well zones a lot of space, actually, and the Lux binds just absolutely um annoying yeah at that point their, their, their manners of engaging aren't as strong as they're like uh zoning or controlling rather but again I, i'm pretty sure that's what they're roaming around for because right the leona ulti and is the there, binding I just, am i saying this right is there a smite on that round that is a is that a smite i, I don't know I, mean, <laughs> change, yeah. I don't know well, we're gonna find out a little bit uh but regardless that's gonna be fun to watch if it's actually smite top i'm actually kind of excited uh, to see what actually does for that oh, okay there you go oh, that's updated, that's updated. Okay. um but going on to UI's team, that is more annoying. That's going to be an early mid-game pressure kind of game, right? Because with Leona being obviously the melee, pre-3, that feels like it's going to be the bane of your existence. Exactly. Spending it's going to be really dangerous. Uh, and then also with Zerath being mid, once Just... that 6 happens, there's going to be a lot of roaming potential. So there's going to be need a lot of wards in there. But same thing with Prodigy. Those two mid laners have the same purpose, right? Mm -hmm. uh, except that Lux obviously has the better burst. At least in my opinion, she has the better verse yeah. later on. I also want to point out the fact that um, we're playing in World's Patch 9.19. So yeah, Aatrox is back in the meta right now. Yeah. Because if you look at it in a way, um, Aatrox has this uh, big nerf to him, or his wave clear was just absolutely abysmal. Like yep. three Qs could not clear away. Not for the classic keeps even. Yeah, right? because of the uh, percentage of yeah, damage from the um, crypts was yeah, yeah. the nerf. But they actually bumped it up a bit for, from 60% reduction to 45% reduction. So now he could clear minion waves in at least three yeah. queues. So he's back with because of the wave clear, and now the damage is still the same. So no, so Aatrox is He's back pretty much like almost back, uh, like you know where he was like good but not broken. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, that's what I love. Um, unfortunately, like. I I, I I I love it that they give love to like the newer champions that get nerfed and then they try to put him back in meta, especially Akali. Exactly. Uh, the amount of nerfs that she's had, but she still ends up going back into meta somehow. Uh, but I guess it's like for the older champions, obviously it's not the same because you know they're probably gonna get their inevitable rework. Mm -hmm. uh, like Pantheon uh, was, uh, yeah, Rafa got a small rework. Yeah, Shaco's gonna get a rework. Yeah, well. I'm excited for that one. I'm really excited for that one. Such an old champion, like. A glass cannon, one-sided jungler, uh -huh. finally getting the love he deserves. Because like I played a bunch of Shaco uh, back in the day, and he was like the funnest guy until like meta started evolving around, exactly. and then new champions came around, and the birth things came up. And the fact that like right, his, his biggest flaw is like you can see his Q through five of war, true. That the smoke, true that, true that, yeah. yeah, which is the most annoying thing in existence. Exactly. But anyways, um, that will round up our drafts. We will be loading into the rift, every ladies and gentlemen. This is our first game of the day. Don't go anywhere. We have lots of EAA action. Just come right up.
We, now we are here in the first game of UI versus Southwestern University in the EAA Vismin Trials. Let's see how things shape up. Okay, so yeah, it, 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 right, they didn't update um, the the rumble. Uh, <laughs> the rumble <spell>. spell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and now we're looking over to B skirmishing onto their red side, probably. Uh, UI going towards the red buff, and UI going towards the blue buff side. However, you see that one yeah, I, I like, want it. I, of course, I want it. <laughs> both teams are invading opposite sides. That's the side. best kind of happening to be in league. Yeah, the, both teams are actually uh, on opposite sides of the game. Yeah, they're, they're just waiting there, but it seems like. Uh, oh, the uh, stars oh, yeah, 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 but, but uh, Prodigy is already showing up alongside UI's Zira. Uh, look at them just taunting each other. Uh, they're probably just like, yeah, a bait, right? Uh, but it looks like not going to be taking it. Going back into the jungle once again. Uh, and Zirath going to be dancing in front of the turret. <laughs> Who's trying to get that free goal? Oh, no, but I guess free goal. Yeah, both these are actually really, really strong level 1, though. That's why I yeah. want to see a level yeah. 1 skirmish. I, I, I'm teams. pretty sure UI has the advantage of level 1, right? Because, alright, you get three knockoffs from Aatrox. You get the massive slow from Olaf. Another, maybe it depends on what Zirath gets. QWE, all of them work. Uh, Q or W from Kaisa's burst. And with the probably feels going to be getting either uh, crows or fear, right? Yeah, that's uh, really where, true. Where, where, compared to prodigy, where it's probably more single target based, uh, but not as much CC. But it looks like they're not going to be able to uh, do anything. Uh, but however, Leona's already going to go up into lane, not going to be doing anything because they're reaching on the bot side. So I want to point this out that this is actually a really big thing about the uh, pacing of the game and the earlier stages of the game because since UI did this uh, leash on the bottom side of the map that gives kill pressure on the side of uh, the uh, Prodigy they are gonna get to level 2 first mm -hmm. and with the kill pressure yeah. of the Leona onto this level yeah, you, you do know that yeah be... Leona level 2 she's already there especially with Jinx probably one of the strongest uh, bursting containers that you can have with it really next probably be either uh, Kai'Sa maybe Vayne uh, Maybe as well if he likes W. Oh, but look at this. Uh, but look, already, already level 1. Rumble training extensively onto that uh, Aatrox because, you know, he, he can't really do anything. He sides Q probably, right? Uh, but he has life still, so he's probably going to be able to get that back up. He does have also Conqueror too, but level 2 already copying from both of them. It doesn't matter though, the knockoff coming out from Aatrox going back onto the Rumble training. And he actually ends up, he wins that one with his passive, right? Yeah. But again, one more time, Pretty he gets the Conqueror up now though, so he's probably going to be able to take him out here if he gets his Q up. But he's not gonna be able to get anything off of that. He just walks away uh, alongside Drubble, who also gets W level two, so he's gonna not be able to trade very well. 
Yeah, while all that was happening, uh, Serath actually was able to push in via Lux as I was looking at the minimap and he was able to plant that ward onto the Raptor camp which actually spots Lee Sin. Now they have tempo advantage knowing where the jungler mm -hmm. is. They can play aggressive on the lane that they know the Lee Sin is far away from. So they have zone control on the top side of the map which is why Olaf is actually backing towards their right now. Which is why um, Aatrox actually forced that exchange to keep the rumble low enough for this Olaf to go in. But he gets spotted by the sword. Mm -hmm. Extended well, ward right over still, here. He's actually still going towards it. Uh, maybe he... Okay, he doesn't. Yeah, he's backing up. Yeah, I just want to say... If you... <laughs> that was really close. Yeah. So uh, that was good setup, but the ward there was actually crucial for yeah. Rumble. Yeah. Because if that ward wasn't there, I think that would have been first blood. Because mm -hmm. they, they knew that they started bottom side, right? So obviously. Oh, but here we go. The E going up onto the uh, Final Six, onto another root. Onto the the exhaust coming out. He does not have Ignite, so it doesn't really matter. After coming in, Flash from Liana. She gets Ignite, however. And that's going to be first blood for Prodigy, getting the burst onto Lee Sin. And Aatrox, too, right now the Rumble, but they're still extend, uh, extending over bot side, but not going to be able to get the Jinx. However, Ooh. the Flash. E coming out from Olaf, captures Rumble, and he smites, or he flashes a little bit too late. But at one more onto mid lane, he's almost out of mana. He probably has to flash to the wall, goes through the. But he tries to predict it, but he breaks it wrong, and now he's out of mana. Lee Sin coming in too, but now Zia's out of mana. He gets to slow from the E. But Lux miss E just a little bit. The minions coming in to block it, but he's gonna be able to get W onto the Lux and almost kills her from that Q with Comet. That was super scary, but well played from Prodigy. And now Leona's gonna come in too. She gets to E. She barely missed it after that one. Now he kills it. He's accused it, but that's zero. Kills through the winning wave against Lux too. What's happening? No, Rumble's also about to die. Judge from TV back in the lane. Will he have? Will oh, he have? My, oh my god! What is going on from you right now? They're taking complete control of this. I can't even keep up with how much this is there going on in like not even a minute or 30 seconds. But now Aatrox has to flash out because he queued onto Rumble. I know the queue coming from all actually onto the Rumble, but he's not out just quite yet. Both teams are kind of being sloppy right over here, but I think it's still you I who actually gets the better uh, exchanges from this. They did, they did. There were lots of exchanges actually. Um, There was the predi uh, prediction flash from the uh, Seraph actually there on the bottom side of the map. Uh, but he misses, right? But he was yeah. still able to outplay three members at the same time. That was like. With almost out of mana, he had to use his passive. Yeah, the passive actually saved him twice during that exchange. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And, um,. Yeah, on the top side of the map, they tried to burst it down, but the uh, tip of the Q was not able to land there mm -hmm. from the Aatrox, which is why Rumble actually survived the, the initial exchange. So, um, yeah, um, a little bit of blunders that could have been um, executed a little better for both sides. I think, um, in terms of summoner resources, Prodigy won that. Yeah, because yeah, definitely, Because Aatrox course. flashed, Olaf flashed, Zira flashed, and Ghosted. Uh, and also, all of those six is, uh, summoners on cooldown. But for Prodigy, they still have that flash from Lee Sin. Yeah, uh, and um, and ignite. I think from Lux is still available too. Yeah, that was a good. Um, they still have one on the uh, summer side, summer spell side. But of course, that Seraph was just absolutely overall soaking yeah, lots of pressure yeah. there. So that's really good tempo relief for their side. And now they actually have a chance to uh, recover from the uh, slow lead that uh, University of Illinois was able to. Even with all that pressure that Zira had on him. He still has more CS than Lux, and he has a Magi's. Exactly. He was able to soak up lots of pressure there, and now that gives room for his team, breathing room for his team mm -hmm. to like recover a little bit. Because right now, UI is oh, one more time. He's the time running around the mid lane. There is a pink one there. Uh, he did pass by that, but he doesn't look at it. It's a little bit of a trade again. One more time onto the rumble, but he has a cloth armor now, so he soaks up a lot more damage. He had half health coming out, a little bit more than half health coming out from the passive and conquer coming from Aatrox. That will be like a sixty percent trade for almost nothing. Exactly, it's just so much damage from the Aatrox, and it's really annoying to go up against something like that, and especially when you're playing the Rumble, you're the one who's on the ticking, uh, ticking on the clock. Mm -hmm. Because when the Aatrox gets to this mid-game, where he just starts pushing on the bullet up, Okay, okay. Well, well, here we go, and then that's the coming out from, uh, from the Leona, or onto Leona, but Leona gets the Aftershock, again the Exhaust, the Fear coming out onto Lee Sin, they're gonna get the Le Leona, right? But no, not yet, but he gets the E onto Leona, the Lux ulti gonna get Olaf, and the Binding onto Phyllis, but Phyllis is draining out, Lee Sin, the Flash from Kai'Sa coming out to get Lee Sin, and Lux will trade a double kill, two for two, no, yeah, two for two, for Prodigy and UI. Okay, so, um, really aggressive start, this is really an action-packed start for both teams, and now we're actually seeing that, uh, Mid laners are really good when it comes to like catching up with their teams because we did forget to mention that both of them have global ults. Yeah, yeah, and that's right? what I'm saying. They both have the same purpose, right? Yeah, they both have global ults and they both have fairly high burst. Yeah, and they both have big potential as well with their E from Sarah and the Q from uh, Lux. So technically, they both pretty much play the same role, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So one of them has a shield, one of them has like better mana regen, right? Mm -hmm, definitely. 
So uh, it really showed there how um, crucial the what do you call it, the catch up impact both these player uh, both these uh, picks have. And of course, with the same uh, role, it's just a matter of execution on who gets to respond to their teams faster, you know? And but they both serve that same purpose now as Skirmish, so really it was a two for two trade. Uh, it, was, it was worth for both teams. And, uh, the measure is actually starting off with the Seraphim here. Yep, he stacks. already has two stacks. Uh, that's that's the start of everything. But look at that. Uh, you are going to be swiping out uh, Infernal Jig right from under the noses of Pride because there is no ward. There's a ward now, but it doesn't matter. Ulti coming out from Aatrox one more time into the top lane. He gets the triple Q. On top, is he dead? The fact that he canceled it! Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I was about to say. That was <laughs> that was the jankiest out of that cancel I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Oh my god, he nearly let him live there. <laughs> yeah, it was very close, but you know, since Aatrox gets increased attack range in his ulti, that's going to be no problem at all. And he get another kill for himself. Rumble now 0-2 in the top lane. Uh, and now Aatrox gets that little bit of power lead and that's probably super unfortunate. Yeah. Um, you could really see that UI is definitely giving so just much... Just for that. Um, see that? Yeah, he's the <laughs> He's the king. Oh, but he's just gonna be trying to go in. He gets the Q, but he goes out. Uh, he gets a little bit of an attack from the passive, but... Uh, sorry. <laughs> that was just very funny to look at. They're just... Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, but, are we gonna do it again? Really? Okay, he has Conqueror proc now. Is he gonna try to do it? The ward is there for him to hop onto. He's gonna try going around. Rubble is coming back as well. But he sees that the control ward is down, so he's probably not gonna be going for it because he can probably kill both of them. He plays it really well with the minions. Yeah, and also oh, here, why you go? Lux getting off the Kaiso, but she doesn't matter. She has no offense or fear going on onto Lux. The root coming out from the other two now, trading onto it. Uh, they're stunned. 2v3, but they're going to have to back up because they don't have Jinx in the bottom. He's just going to push right now. But go all off on the top lane. He gets the ulti. Q, E, auto attack. That's it. That's a rep. He just died in two seconds. Get out of here. <laughs> but he's still off the chain. And he's still going on to all of two. He has his conqueror buff. He's probably trying to go in there. He gets the kill, another kill. But ulti on goes onto the locks. She's wanting to die too. She gets the flash shot, but it's better. The, the oh. W shield. She, she flashed onto it, but actually, that's even worse. Jukes, Jukes, Jukes. Did she get it? No, she doesn't get the last one. She ended up being right in the center of it, and she doesn't have the mobility for it yet. She only has level one boots. Kobe. And that's gonna be Zerath for three. Gets another kill, and that's gonna be four more stacks for Zerath with a bounty now. This is looking really scary right now. UI is ramping up the pace and the pressure right now. And I do want to point out the fact that the investment of the Olaf on the top side of the map for like three or four um, roams was just paying off so much for oh, yeah. the side oh, of yeah. the Oh yeah, he, he's 3-1 now, <laughs> right? <laughs> he was given, um, the reason for that is um, Rumble has a lane priority over this uh, uh, Aatrox in earlier stages of the game, but you negate that early game advantage by sending the Olaf there. Because once uh, this Aatrox has a lead, it's just game over for it. Yeah. The exactly. Run. The moment he gets parts of his uh, Black Cleaver up, or maybe oh, yeah. his Jarm's Fist, it's practically over for the other laner. Yeah, you have no more chances of exchanging at that point, because you'll be losing the exchanges every time. So you'll just be waiting for the team fights, grouping up with your team, and you make use of your Equalizer, which is the biggest factor of Rumble. But other than that, building's practically over for him. Mm -hmm. and this, is what, this is why I said really that like this is going to be a very early mid-game team for UI. Uh, but the moment it hits late game, it's probably going to be into Prodigy's favor because again, that Jinx can be so strong for everything against the 80% crit with Runa. Exactly. So right now, all of the hopes and dreams for Prodigy is resting on the shoulders of their carries, being the range advantage of this Jinx over the ADC of the side of Prodigy. Mm. Um, you, the Assassins, I mean. And of course, the Lux, but is actually behind compared to this Seraph. But of course, um, her per main purpose is to just Give ramp up the damage of this Jinx by providing the security of the shields and zone controls with her uh, yeah. crowd controls. Yeah, yeah, Q, W, E, everything she does is going to be a major Jinx. factor. So this is going to be a, a very mid bit of a mid uh, bot game base. Or well, actually, Phil is zero on the top side. Yeah, he is. He's just sitting there. They pop Bertha onto the top. Are they able to charge him? Yep, there goes the Curl Storm. going to be out onto the Lisa, but he gets speared and at the same time. Doesn't matter. D diving goes onto the Rumble. He's probably almost up. Another skirmish that I'm coming out the bot. They kill the Leona. I didn't kill top lane too. The Lux misses a combo onto all of it, but they're going to be able to trade. Olaf has to flash out. He's going to take that second turn shot. No, he doesn't. That was the last second of the last turn shot that was probably going to kill him. And they will trade out so much resources for that and not even get a kill for not even the turn top lane. But now Jinx is already there, but she has to pop heal. And now Kit Tyson trying to shoot it down the W. Kobe! But nope, she has to flash out of there. That's unfortunate, but there's probably some chance now. But again, Lee Sin steps up a little bit too far, gets feared, and Silas Tantia coming from the Aatrox. He gets the flash auto attack onto Rumble. Double kill. This is probably a triple kill if they go for it. Auto attack. He has, some, uh, he has to E out because of that ignite. Good awareness for him not to commit to that. But now the minion, is he gonna kill him? No, barely. If it was to be one more mini shot, that would have been it. 
So we recap scrap oh, no. all the word. Not oh, done no. yet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. okay. Get out. You, you best get out of there. This is really scrappy. Uh, but anyways, um, this is not working out well for Prodigy. I want to point out the fact that the win conditions is actually based on the team fights and not on the uh, aggressive, um, scrappy fights. Because look at this. You have an Olaf on the side of uh, the Assassins and you also have the Fiddlesticks who just keeps repetitively using these spears. So long team fights where you're, it's really scrappy and unorganized is where they thrive. Whereas for Prodigy, it's just that one big team fight that mm -hmm. they should be looking they forward to. The skirmish. Yeah, the Rumble Ultimate will make a very big impact, but you have to wait for at least 20 minutes as TP. Yep, they're going to be committing onto the off is almost dead. He's probably just starting to accept like, yep, war jump and the kick to ensure the kill. But we see how this kill as well, but no, he doesn't get it. Another kill coming up from Lee Sin. He gets another kill. That is so much gold for Lee Sin right now. He gets an energy feeding old bounty onto Zerath, and Leona is living as well, but they do. They ended up stealing the dragon. They stole that dragon. They stole the dragon as well. That's what? a good combat play, actually. What? So, Lee Sin basically got, what, 12, 1250 gold, if not 1300 gold, from both the Olaf and the Zerath, and now Zerath has lost his, his uh, Magi stacks. Uh, yeah, I, it's good that they have the combat player right over there, but I think the, uh, most of the resources should have went to the Jinx anyways, but... Still, it's still a good... It, it's, it's worth still it. A positive it's it's yeah, worth it, worth. yes, but it, 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 it wasn't as worth as it should have been, right? Yeah. But wasn't the most what, what, but wait, wait, go on top of all just ulted onto the Jinx. But there's also a fighter on top side of it. Yeah, but there's another skirmish that's gonna come out of the top lane. But what is going on by? I see the drain coming out. What there's, what? Wait, yeah, there's a, yeah, there it is. Yeah, exactly. I heard the crows, and I was like, wait, what's going on? So I'm assuming this is all in the uh, the Jinx onto that and has the pop, however, his uh, Zonia's uh, the, the stopwatch. But yeah. that's all right, it stops them from taking the bot lane turret. That was a turn of uh, oh boy. Wait, here we go, one more time on the top lane. Aatrox versus. Leona and Rumble, but he probably has ultra right? exhaust coming out way too early in my opinion. So he's gonna be uh, committing onto the H onto the Rumble, sorry, and gets the third Q. Doesn't get it, however, because he has the W up and Leona coming out ulti onto him. He's still not dead yet. He's still living with the Conqueror and the minions barely able to make him live. And he probably could have gotten it, but that's quite alright. But Zerath now on his way up with Kaisa. There's no word in this push, but now the Leona's still in the push. He gets the stun onto him, but that's gonna be a huge burst! Onto Leona, she had, does not have any means of HP and her uh, Avijak was down. Now ulti coming out. One, two, is there a third one? Ulti least? And yes, oh, yes, he gets that, but he does not have rank to ulti yet, so he doesn't be able to get the fourth shot onto the rumble, but that's worth it. Exactly. I was about to um, give praise to uh, uh, the side of Prodigy, where they had so many shutdowns and they might be able to come back in this game, but they keep biting, uh, they keep forcing these exchanges, so. It just keeps biting yeah, that the was, butt. Yeah, that was not worth it. I don't know why they chose to fight that butt. A Q coming out from Lux, snipes the Kai'Sa just by a hair, and she has to pop cleanse, ulti, and everything, and they ended up shading one for one. That's actually worth it for Prodigy. Yeah, they got the shutdown from that, but now they have uh, control on the mid lane, and of course, takes down the second turret of the game. So, lots of space for the side of you. Uh, hold yeah. on. Yeah, about one more. Oh, that was really yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, right, th that kill exchange was worth it. But everything else uh, after that, because the material fell, was, that, was the, the worst exchange for it. And I thought the mid lane was uh, was still healthy. Apparently not. You know UI is really good with the fundamentals of League of Legends, because when you break the turrets from your opposing team, you should always leave... When you get into the zone of your opposing team, you should always leave Vision as you exit out of the mm -hmm. jungle or their mm -hmm. side, because that technically gives you a tactical advantage at this point as well. Oh, that oh but here, ulti are coming from Aatrox into the 1v3 once again, but I don't think it's gonna matter. The zone is popping out, the stopwatch coming out onto the rumble, and it's gonna be on the Q, smite, and auto attack, but he's not gonna be able to get anything like that. And Aatrox once again, dying by himself on a second death, almost back to back. That's just absolute disrespect, guys. Yeah, I know you that you have- Oh my! Oh, but here we go! Has to pop the heal already! She does not have flash, she already popped the E, and now Olaf still has all as well too. And the W come from Ice and not be able to get, it, get the kill, and Olaf gets one more kill onto the Jinx. That is kind of saddening, because you couldn't do anything about that, but one more time! Ultia coming from Olaf, he gets this uh, trade from Lux and Lee Sin, but now Crowstone coming out and he has no flash! But he's trying to try to get through the wall, uh, but he has to get taken the warden instead because uh, he don't really want to flash that. I would not be there, right? But this, oh uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be there as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Did you just see how well that Olaf actually hounded him? Yeah, it, it, good risk. Um, what's the word? Reaction time from Olaf to be able to get out of there quickly. Uh, almost, he did. He did trade for the Lee Sin, so Olaf was confident that they could burst him down, which they did. So good recognition from that onto UI. And then this uh, Sarah is finally ramping up. Dude, he has 18, 18 stacks. stacks right 18 now. stacks, 7 and 1. 
and he's getting what is that? Uh, yeah, and he just completed his ludens. That's so gonna scary. be painful. Yeah, he's on his way to Ramadan's death cap for sure. <laughs> perhaps. With that, oh, here one more time onto the top and Rumble popping. Oh All right, my God. what was the HP heal? He's gonna try and get him, but it does. Oh, he's now here. He's gonna get him, but he has the flash now, and now he doesn't have ult anymore. He's gonna try and get to the bush, gets the flash, Q ult, and doesn't have an auto attack. He does not get the passive just in time, and now that <laughs> that. Oh, uh, massive pop off. And now one more time with the Kai'Sa coming out as well. Uh, Lisa has to shield out. So he's probably going to be running away from there. Rumble now really low. That's a dangerous spot. And now, why did you sit there? Why did you sit there? That was not smart of you. And now Lisa has to walk away and try to juke a little bit with, with snake feet. What? Why? Why did I kind of see the connection to his IGN being stealth because he's like a sniper. Yeah, yeah, he got a fight! Isaiah picked off and I associate his smoke too soon from being stealthy. He gets to the final Yoda and the burst. Now Kaisa in the back and she has the power, she has mana but will it be enough? The oh, wow. But does it matter? She gets the Lux and I should be running down the Yoda too. She does not have that much damage to, call, uh, to come back onto the Kaisa. But now Jinx is here. Now the Kaisa is here. Onto Lisa and Isaac back up now. The, wait, it's still. Okay. Shut down. What, 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 what killed her? Was it an auto attack or the W? I didn't see. I think it was an auto attack. Okay. But anyways, uh, man, they already had such a big lead and they just overextend us, uh, stayed their welcome right over there. I think Giving they're... such a massive shutdown onto the Seraph to the side of Prodigy. That was not worth it. They're, 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 they're being overconfident, in my opinion. Uh, but I, I think it's more like they're, they're testing the waters of limits. But even then, why would you want to do it with such high baths? And you gave it to 700 gold onto this Lux, which is just absolutely That's probably bad. enough for her, um, her, her, uh, Ludens. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's losing. Oh boy. But, uh, uh, so I think, uh, right, so you know how, uh, Zirath got pop, or uh, pop right there, right? Uh, I think what he's going to be building is the Banshees. For that specific uh, <laughs> scenario, one more time. But here we go, one oh, more time. Chase Three people actually, onto yeah. the all up, but I don't think they can catch him really. All up is way too They're fast. They're investing three coming people out for this. Onto that, and the E will not be up. He's in the bush. There. I don't think they've really seen it now. But else is coming up as well. The re engage from all up, getting the Q and the ulti and the E, and she runs her down. A flash is coming out, and she doesn't have flash either. You are, you are dead. You are dead. You are out. They, from just because they don't have resources. Uh, disaster. They tried to hound him out, but the fiddlesticks was on his way back there, and when they finally realized that backup was there, it was too late. It I, just I, I, I think it shows that around. they don't really, they aren't familiar with that matchup because Olaf probably has one of the strongest early mid games in the game, especially when he gets that lead. Because you saw that right there, he just ran in that 1v2. And he did, this is not your traditional Olaf, this is a Triforce Olaf. Yes, yeah, exactly! So strong so right now. So this is gonna be one of them running down, Q auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, Q auto attack, auto attack. He's getting that duelist potential, and he's not allowed to do that because they're so far ahead. So it doesn't really matter if he has, if he gets any defensive stats or not. Look at oh, that damage please, from Zero, wow. and now almost gets a bunch of the Q coming up from Aatrox one more time. He gets bursted down, that's gonna be a reset from Aatrox Max one more time. And stacks. so much damage. Max that would you yeah, so right, so you see there already. Oh, but uh, here we go, one more time engaging with the French Cross into the fear. The Kaiser ulti coming one more time. They are going back in turn. Here comes out. That's a, gonna be a double getting here. counted. The stun comes out. The double knockup. That's gonna be a waste of a stopwatch. And now that's it. That's two inhibs, possibly the game if they really try to commit yeah, to it. I'm pretty sure this is all she wrote. It's like 30 second death timers at this point in the game without anybody carrying to deal damage right now. Look at their items. Look at their items compared to UI. Yeah, man. I mean, Sarah may be recalling, but they're just gonna try to. Oh, they're going for the triple inhibs. We're doing Dota strats. <laughs> We're gonna do other things than the Mega Peeps. Uh, uh, so they, now they're gonna be access to the double super minions. They're just gonna be super, super annoying because Jinx still doesn't have her runes. And, okay, so look right here at the, at the items of Leona. Big mistake was, I think, was getting at Zeke's. You have no HP whatsoever for any of both the burst from AD and AP side. From UI, so that's probably gonna be a big flop for yeah. yeah, yeah, sure you have aftershock, but after that, what have you got? I do agree with you on that point because um, Leona herself already has like massive um CC. No, oh, what do you call this? Massive um defensive stats with yeah. her W yeah. and her aftershock. So you don't need extra um defensive stats with the Zeke's uh, convergence. You, you need, need HP. HP because it doesn't make you last very long in these fights, and you don't have any front line to. Uh, Plus, Zix is a team fight item, yeah. and you're you not know, winning the team fights. It's forcing Peanut, uh, the Rumble, to get into the front line, and you see how much damage Fletcher has been dealing onto this Rumble every time the skirmishes happen. It's just disaster. You need to be the 
the rock for your team, but right now, I think it's just game over at this point. Yeah, they're look at the team now. They, they went back bad. from all of that. Uh, oh, God! Oh, wait, 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 you can't do that! Now, Jinx gets caught up from just a little bit stepping up into the creep wave because she doesn't have the run out. I don't think she, maybe she wasn't in a rock roll, I have no idea, but she just gets poked out. And now this is gonna be a 1v3 situation for Zian in the mid lane, and they can't do anything about it. We're gonna come try to go. Can he still do this? No, okay, no, but, like, <laughs> but actually, I might get. Uh, but the Ward Kid coming out from Lee Sin, I don't think he can really kill him, but he has, he has a, a Conqueror now, but he has to find out now. With the Baron buff, that's okay. That's gonna be big burst. Q coming out. What the heck should saves his life? The ulti from Kai's coming out. And now Leona's still getting chased on from the Aatrox. And that will be a kill too as well. The Q coming out from Leeson. Almost gets the kick onto, onto Zira to seal the deal. But he's gonna be queuing him in the middle of his Q. And now that'll be it. That's all she wrote right over there. I, I think, think it's gonna be the game. Baron buff into the fall of Prodigy Gaming in a 23 minute fashion. You are staying into form actually right now with the, the new bloods from their team. Um, like, like, I don't want to point out before.